Well, there's a narrative brewing on the trail that the scope of Donald Trump's reach is being underrepresented in the polls. That's because, well, uh, there are so many who argue that the number is, quote, shy, okay, of voter support for the GOP nominee. And a lot of people actually don't want to admit publicly that they're going for Donald Trump. But the big question is, will this silent army show up next Tuesday? Joining me now, Lisa Booth, Liz Peake, and Steve Rogers. And Rob, Robin Byro is back with us. Liz Peake, let me go to you first. A couple articles floating around out there saying, yeah, the, 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 the Trump army is real, but it's not as massive as the Republicans want to believe it is. I think, I think it exists. And I think the question is, is it 1 or 2 percent? And is that going to, in my view, that might offset... Uh, Hillary's ground game. Right. Hillary's ground game is expected to add one or even three percentage points in the, some of the battleground states because they are very well organized and very efficient about getting people to the polls. This could be an offset to that. So, it, it, frankly, to me, it's sort of like, okay, we can sort of take the polls at face value because those two things might counteract. Right, right. so it's the enthusiasm yeah. versus the machine. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah, exactly I, that. I, I, and, and by the way, people are embarrassed to say they're for Trump. The media has made it. A, you know, a shaming ex, uh, experience to be a Trump voter. But who are those people? Would it be like the the uh, the, uh, the white suburban women in Philadelphia? Because the Trump supporters that I've met, like Steve Rogers, they're they're not embarrassed. I mean, he tried to put a tattoo on me one day in the green room, <laughs> a Trump tattoo. I wasn't even looking. I, it's, uh, Wow. So, and if it is those people, then that could really upset some of these swing states well, like a Pennsylvania. There has been a survey that shows that, in fact, it is wealthier people, better educated right. people who are most embarrassed to say they're for Trump. This sounds kind of stupid, but look, I mean, I, we all have been in, in settings, social and otherwise, where, you know, you go around the room and no one wants to admit right. it, but then it's sotto voce right. next to a dinner. Someone says, yeah, actually, I'm a buddy. Yeah, yeah, I, so I get that. I get that a lot in Manhattan, yeah, by the way. I get that, yeah, exactly. that foot under the table, <laughs> wink, wink. Exactly. Hey, Steve, you know, you know, you've been on the ground from day one. You know the pulse of the people. What yes. Here's what's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for the media and the Clinton machine and the establishment to admit that there is an army not of hundreds or thousands, but of millions. And I'm going to go out on a limb like I did when he first announced he was running. You're going to see a Ronald Reagan 1980 landslide. The Trump army is coming by the millions. And it's all walks of life, all ethnicities. Wait and see. Lisa Booth, what are your thoughts on this? Look, I, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I think it's out there, and I, I think it's true, but I also believe if you're the Donald Trump campaign, you've got to focus on what you know. Focus on the voters that you've identified through data and analytics uh, and through your own modeling, and focus on getting those people out, because right now that's what this is about. And what we've seen is pretty big momentum shift uh, from where we were just a couple of weeks ago, and especially where we were from after when the Access uh, Hollywood videos first hit, because now it's Hillary Clinton that is on the defense. It's the Democratic Party that is on the defense. Uh, and so, you know, I think what Donald Trump needs to do right now is focus on what we know uh, and, and focus on the voters that right. uh, he knows that have a preference for him and to get those people out and also hope that the information that has surfaced uh, about the FBI keeps some of those Hillary Clinton voters at home, especially the soft Clinton voters, uh, you know, former Bernie Sanders supporters, uh, millennials who aren't super enthused about this election and we're seeing that aren't really turning out in early voting, uh, and also African Americans that we see that, uh, that their support is down from the 2012 election. You know, Robin, uh, uh, Ed Rendell, uh, really considered a straight shooter, acknowledged that there is a silent army, and he is saying, hey, you know what, let's pay attention to it. He thinks it's really powerful in Pennsylvania and perhaps all the rest states, and this might be why we're going to see Bill, Hillary, Barack, and Michelle Obama all in Pennsylvania on the eve of the election because they believe that this army is real. It's good campaign strategy, Charles. And I myself reviewed the Politico poll that just came out today that did show that there, there actually is about, uh, there, there's one percent of people that are, are basically ashamed to say that they're voting for Donald Trump. They said they wouldn't say so on, on phone polls, but they said it in online polls. So that does exist. However, it's, it's within the margin of error. It's not enough to make a, a statistical difference. And there's furthermore no empirical data to show that it, that it really makes enough of a difference to well, swing the election. Well, anecdotal data, anyway. right? I mean, I, you know, I know we've been taught not to believe our eyes or, 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 or you know, when, when, when Donald Trump goes from campaign event to campaign event, Lisa, and there's 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and each one is larger than the other, and, and people wait for hours. I mean, that's a sort of enthusiasm. To me, speaks even louder than the data points. 
Well, you know, I think the enthusiasm is real, but even just beyond the rallies, I mean, you look at, uh, I think, the latest Washington Post ABC tracking poll, and you see that the voters that are very enthusiastic about Donald Trump, uh, there are more of them than there are for Hillary right. Clinton. And I think part of that is, uh, one, sort of a perfect storm of events that we, did, you know, I had mentioned previously with the FBI news that hit and also the Obamacare premiums. Uh, increasing as well by substantial margins. So I think you kind of have this perfect storm closing into election day that is really negative for Hillary Clinton. What have we seen throughout this entire general election so far? It seems to be that the candidate that is taking the heat at the moment, the other candidate ends up doing better in the polls. Right. And so and right for now, Hillary Clinton, you don't want to be in this position heading into election day. Yeah, it's become a referendum on Hillary Clinton. Real quick, Steve. Charles, you <laughs> talked about the pulse and the poll. Yeah. These pollsters, they're not touching the pulse of America. This is why you're going to see a landslide. And everyone keeps telling me, no one's polled me. That's All right. right. Thank no you all very me. much.